To divide by a fraction, what you're going to do instead is multiply by its reciprocal. To find the reciprocal of a fraction, you just flip the fraction upside down. So you can use the expression keep, change, flip to help you divide by a fraction. What you're going to do is keep the first fraction the same. So in this problem, the 2 fifths is going to stay the same. This is your starting amount, so you don't change that number. Next, you're going to change it from division to a multiplication problem. So change this division sign to multiplication sign. And then you're going to flip the second fraction over. Instead of dividing by 8 thirds, we're going to multiply by its reciprocal. So we need to flip the 8 thirds upside down and write it as 3 over 8. Once you've changed it to a multiplication problem, you just use the rules for multiplying fractions. When you're multiplying fractions, you can multiply straight across first and then simplify, or you can simplify at the beginning. Um, I usually tend to simplify at the beginning because then I'm dealing with smaller numbers when I multiply. So I can look here and see that this 2 and the 8, these are both even numbers. So I can divide them both by 2 before I multiply. Now I can multiply straight across. 1 times 3 is 3 and 5 times 4 is 20. So the answer to this first one would be 3 twentieths. Let's look at the second one. So if we use the same expression here, keep, change, flip, we keep the first fraction the same. That's always your starting amount. Don't change that number. We're going to change it from division to a multiplication problem. And we need to multiply by the reciprocal. If it's not written as a fraction, in order to find the reciprocal, you need to first write it as a fraction. 9 can be written as a fraction by just putting it over a 1. 9 divided by 1 is just 9. So this now is a fraction, so the reciprocal of this second number is 1 over 9. Now I can either multiply straight across and then simplify, or I can simplify first. I see that this 3 and the 9, those can both be divided by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 9 divided by 3 is 3. After I simplify it, I just multiply straight across. 1 times 1 is 1, and 4 times 3 is 12. So the answer to the second problem is 1 12th.